Greetings, Bane Guild members. I will tell you what I know about applying armor and weapon modifications in Star Wars The Old Republic. Applying mods to your weapons and armor can be compared to applying enchants in World of Warcraft, to applying relics to legendary weapons in Lord of the Rings Online, or to using 35 power bits in Star Wars Galaxies. Although armor and weapon mods are craftable, you do not need to be a crafter in order to apply them to your armor or weapons. All you need is a modification table such as the one you'll find on your personal starship or the modification table found near the starport of Dromit Koss. Other than crafting, modifications can be obtained through quest rewards and through loot. Not everything you loot will have mod slots and very few things will have the maximum number of mod slots. If a mod slot is missing from an item, those stats will still be there but they will be unmodifiable. The more mod slots an item has, the more upgradable the item is. This is because mod slots don't add to your current item stats, but instead they replace the item stats. This means you can take a low level weapon or item and swap out the damage, the armor value, or other stats to make low level gear viable at endgame. Keep in mind that once you put a mod into an item, you can't remove it without destroying it, so you'll want to be sure before you do anything with a mod. In beta, we call gear that can be modded shells, and the best shells are made by crafters who know how to reverse engineer. Because you cannot currently reverse engineer mods, the best mods come from endgame PvE. Well, that's all I could cram into two minutes, so until next time, may the dark side serve you well.